We partner with our friends at JetBrains to augment the MongoDB experience and their suite of IDEs, starting with IntelliJ for Java. I am excited to announce that our official plugin for IntelliJ is now available in private preview. So snap this QR code right here and head to our website to register for access to this exciting new plugin. Now, with this plugin installed, you're going to get enhanced autocomplete and type validation for your MongoDB code. You can jump from your code right into the database console to troubleshoot your queries, and you'll see inline proactive performance insights, such as when your warnings, when your queries aren't covered by an index. So let's take a sneak peek at this exciting new product. Max, take it away. Yes. So you might be familiar with IntelliJ. It already comes with some built-in MongoDB functionality. With that, developers can connect to their MongoDB clusters, they can browse their databases and collections, and they can even prototype queries in the built-in console. But we wanted to take it one step further. We wanted to truly support developers across the entire process of building a Java application. So for that, let's imagine that we are building an application again on top of the data set about taxi rides in London. And in particular, this time, we want to help operators address open disputes. Now, the first thing we want to do is to query for the pending disputes. And we're going to do that in this uh, uh, find all pending disputes by type fair in the trip repository class. So pretend I remember, oh, did an error here. Pretend I remember the uh, syntax for my um, Java code, but I do not remember or I'm not familiar with the schema of this collection. Let's see if IntelliJ can help me there. So we'll say filters, we'll use an equality filter here. And as you can see, IntelliJ is aware of the schema and suggests uh, possible fields. So here I'm going to use status, and uh, I'm going to say pending. And then we'll add another filter. We'll say filters.equals. And now we'll say uh, dispute.type, and we'll give it a 1 for the type fair. But you see that IntelliJ here is actually trying to tell me something. It, it's aware of the scheme of the collection, and it knows that I used an integer where I was supposed to use a string. This is a helpful warning because it guides me towards writing the right query. Now, let me change that to the right value. That is type fair, and uh, the query is implemented. Now, if we want to check that that's actually the right query, it returns the results I expect, with one click, I can jump into the console and run it there. Wow, it's like having a mentor sitting right next to you helping you out. It's a really great way to streamline application development. But I'm pretty sure I saw another pop-up back there. Can you go back to Trip Repository and take a check for the inside? Yeah, let me see that. Oh, yeah, you're right. The IntelliJ is actually telling me that the query we implemented is running without an index. That is a very important warning, because uh, if I don't create an index for this query, there's the risk that I deploy my application in production and I see some performance problems. And because making choices about indexes and schema in the early stages of building a scalable application is so important, you can expect that over time, we'll add more and more of these tips inside your ID. Which will be really helpful. Thank you so much, Max.